Hey everyone, in this episode we will make homemade almond butter. You will need two things, a food processor and at least three cups of raw almonds. Don't soak them, no need to do this since the butter making process will pretty much cook them. The first step is to set up your processor, pour in your almonds and turn it on. This process will take a while from 20 to 30 minutes. I started a countdown from 20 minutes with my cell phone to give you an idea of the progress it makes and what it looks like. So you'll definitely need some patience with this process. Every few minutes you'll definitely need to stop the processor to scrape down the sides and even out the mix. About halfway through 20 minutes some of the almond oils will be released and your mix will turn into a ball moving around the processor. The next 10 to 15 minutes will be the toughest as you will frequently need to stop to even out the mix. It may have been like this for me since I have a large capacity processor. If it were smaller like 4 to 5 cups I think it may go better but I'm not sure. Once you get closer to 20 minutes the mix becomes a bit more manageable but it is around this time also that your mix will look hopeless and like it will never turn into butter. It will look very grainy and unsmooth but just hang in there and magic will happen within 10 minutes after achieving the 20 minute mark. Around 30 minutes your almonds will turn nice and smooth and you'll be finished. The process may vary according to your food processor brand and capacity so it may be less for you. Now you're ready to transfer your butter to a container with a spatula. I found that these 3 cups of almonds turn into butter fit nicely into an old almond butter jar that I had from Trader Joe's. Since I was going to make almond butter cookies, I separated 1 cup of almond butter though. This should store in the fridge for 7 to 10 days and then that's it. You have successfully made homemade almond butter. Thanks for watching and enjoy!